Kurt Schilling joining us now. When did you decide that you were going to return fire there, Kurt? Uh, well, I think you know me, so probably <laughs> it, one to two milliseconds after I read the first tweet. Uh, you know, my, the, the, the post, the blog that I did was probably edit number 5,600 because my first blog was I'm getting in my car and driving to here and I'm going to kill this guy. And I realized that probably wouldn't do much um, and wouldn't be received well. Uh, so I sat back and listened and watched, and you know, I I have, I mean, I've been using the computer for gosh, thirty some years, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of work, it doesn't take a lot of IQ to find people. There is anonymity is, for the most part, is a myth. So when you when, all you did is respond that your daughter's going to go to college to be a, a pitcher. Just I congratulate her on getting accepted to the college she's going to. <laughs> Did you get positive responses, right? Like, how long did it take? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Listen, and I made it clear. Listen, I expected to kind of get verbally jousted um, along with congrats. I expected guys to say, hey, you know, can't wait to meet her at a frat party and blah, 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 which I got. And then I I tweeted out, hey, listen, for all you, you know, frat guys, I I know a lot of people in the special forces. So, you know, do what you need to do. Kind of joking back and forth, and which it was. And then uh, hmm. I got the tweet about uh, comparing my sock to my daughter's underwear. And then that, that it, I, I don't even know. There is no line. That doesn't cross a line. That creates a new category. And uh, at that point, I started saving tweets. And uh, uh, it, it kind of blew up from there. What was your daughter's response? She was devastated. I mean, this is one of the most exciting days of her life. Yeah. And now... She's in of the mind that she may not be able to go to college there because there were, it was guys from the school uh, were some of the people saying stuff. And, you know, wait, dad, guys so from the school that, that she's going to? Yes. Oh, boy. Well, they, they were there, actually, I should say. They got kicked out? Yeah. Some got suspended, some got kicked out, but all of them, you know, th- she's an athletic recruit. First off, mm. and and so you can imagine the women's softball coach being real happy with this. The people that I know, that all of the coaches and the institutions that I've spoken with, had couldn't have handled this any classier. All of the anyone that was an athlete at South Virginia had to go to the softball coach and apologize to her first, and then apologize to my daughter. Is she still going to go? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got a little bit of me in the sense that you know the initial. Uh, big reaction turned into, okay, you know what, F these guys, I'm doing what I want to do. What'd your daughter, uh, what'd your uh, wife say about these comments? And, and <laughs> your reaction? You know, my wife, <laughs> she, she couldn't be published, I'm pretty sure. Uh, some of the things, but she's a woman. No, you know, and part of the message here is, is, is I don't care who you are. As a woman, you don't, no one in the world deserves to be talked to like that. Number one, and number two, <clears throat> excuse me, Dad, number two is, Part of this is criminal. There, there, there are laws that were broken, and at which I'm pursuing and will pursue. The comment about rape? Uh, there's more than one, Dan. It was, it was an, an enormous amount of commentary. Number one, my daughter's a minor at 17 years old, uh, and these are all, mm-hmm. you know, what you would legally describe as adults, only legally. Um, so I will pursue to the fullest extent of the law. My, my ability to, to prosecute. How many did you track down? Uh, everyone. I found everyone. I, I, I started a nice little list and kept them, kept the list as people added to it and kept their Twitter handles. And I know every one of their names. I know where they went to school. Uh, I know their parents. I know all of it. So uh, I'm not going to have any problem with evidence. He's Kurt Schilling joining us, Dan Patrick show. It, um, we were just talking about sometimes when you respond back, like, like people will then back away. If, yep. you know, like it's, it's weird. I, I, I'm not on Twitter because I, I know that you can get 10 great things and one really bad thing. And that one bad thing will stay with you. But see, that's Dan, that's a huge difference for me. I, they don't stay the bad things for the most. They don't stay with me because I, one of the lessons I learned early in life was you can't live your life worried about people's opinions of you that you don't know. I, I have no control over that, so I don't. I know what I know who I am. I know. Listen, and, and I try to make 
people understand. I'm not I'm not preaching from a pedestal. I've been a, a kid, a boy. I've said dumb things. I've done dumb things, but I've never done this. I, I don't know a lot of people that have done this. And 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 for people to say, well, you know, I, I, that's why I don't do the internet because you know I don't do this and I don't do that, and and, and I try to explain to people whether you do it or not, your kids are. This is the world they yeah. grew up in, the world they will grow up in. This is how they – Facebook, Twitter, um, MySpace, Hulu, Vine, all of it. This is how they talk to each other. This is how they communicate. This is how they do things. You Go ahead and – if you don't get on the Internet, that's fine. Google your kids, and you're going to be unbelievably – unbelievable what you will find. And then, that is, again, it's so easy to track people down uh, that it's scary. It's it's one thing for a father to respond like this to his daughter, but athletes who are still you know, we've seen this with RG three or yep. Colin Kaepernick and and responding back. I, I can only imagine what you would have been like if they had Twitter when you were playing the whole oh, bloody God. bloody sock thing with the Yankees yeah. and a rod. Well, you know, I, I've had I've learned the lesson the hard way. Um, you know, I grew up in, in when all of this was kind of on its upward trajectory and taken off. And, you know, you, you covered me. You know, I was always – just ask me a question. I'll answer it. <laughs> and, and, you know, but that's always who I've been, for better or worse. And that's why, at the end of the day, I don't have a lot of problem with the people that say, you know – and listen, if, the, if this entire thing was about people saying, you're an idiot, I hate your guts, blah, 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 none of this would ever happen. Because everybody hears that, I know, yes. yeah. and, and I'm, 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 I, I'd rather people didn't say it, but it's the world we live in. This, this is not okay. And for people to say, well, you know, that's that's the internet, that's the world we live in. Well, yeah, listen, you can you can take that attitude, but you're going to be one of the reasons why it happens. It doesn't take a celebrity, it doesn't take somebody smart or famous to track down these people and, and out them. Was there a part of you that wasn't going to respond because? Of your daughter, like I know you wanted to protect her, but well, I, I I talked with her before I did it. Okay, I made sure that she was because I told her I said, listen, you know, this is how I feel and what I want to say. I said, <laughs> you know, I'm going to publicly defend you, but this is what I want to do. Are you okay? Because this is going to blow up a little bit. And she was like, yeah, okay. Did you realize I, how big it was going to be? No, no, she didn't. But you know, my kids have been exposed to a lot of this kind of thing, um, so they're they're like I said, she's got. Some of my resiliency, which is, it's just, I, I like. You also, though, I, here's Twitter who made you react this way, but then Twitter also, I think, helped you find some of these guys. Oh, yeah. No, it helped, yeah. Well, I, I sent a couple of these tweets into Twitter and got back. That was the first thing I did. And I got back, uh, this is not in violation of our rules and blah, blah, blah. And I said, okay, that's a, that's a problem for me. Um, and, and, then, and then I went down this path. It's not a violation of Twitter. That's what I was. The, the emails I got back said that, yeah. <sighs> but again, that's that's you know, people. The, a, a lot of the responses have been, hey, you know, that's the way it is. Like I said, that's the way it is. It's not. That's not the. It's the way it is if we allow it to be. We, we don't have to. Well, you also you had people who said that, you know, you're ruining their lives and uh, it, it, as if your daughter brought this on or you well, brought let me, this Well, let me ask you something, Dan. You have kids, right? Yep. Okay. If somebody walked up to your daughter and punched her in the face, what would you do? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a good situation. Okay. Yeah. So, but that bruise and that scar that she gets, that, yeah. that would eventually go away. My daughter will remember this for the rest of her life. Yeah. No different. And, and what part of... Cyberbullying is making kids kill themselves. Are people missing? What you know? Do I feel bad that I ruined? Them? I didn't do it. I didn't tweet. And and let me repeat this. This is not a mistake. A mistake is me saying, you know, what I think Dan Patrick's a whatever, 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 and going, wow, ah. you know, I probably should have said that. Let me take it down. That's a mistake. Yeah. A mistake is not being a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Okay. That's a mistake. This <laughs> this was a conscious choice and a decision made over and over and over again. And that's not okay. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. And you know what? I, when people say, hey, I've got a couple of daughters, or I have a, you don't have to have a daughter to understand nope. what you did. And that's what I want people to know. What you did is you stood up for your daughter, and you tracked people down and said, I'm not going to let this happen. I can't let this happen. And you know what? Your daughter will, the rest of her life will remember what you did. Well, I, I, it's, it's a, it's a, hopefully it's a wake-up call. And again, 
to, to anyone uh, as a female out there, kids, people aren't allowed to talk to you like this. They're not allowed to do things like this. And, and, and you know, we've got this stigma, I guess, with being what people think is a tattletale. Yep. Yep. Well, I, I would much rather have a tattletale than a dead child. What are you going to be like when your daughter's pitching? Are you going to be one of those loud dads in the stands? No, 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 no. I, I've actually coached her for a couple of years as well, and I'm the, I'm I'm kind of the opposite of that you know, from a <laughs> from a from a coaching perspective. Are you going to be the unofficial pitching coach for her? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I don't know how to throw underhand. It's way harder than overhand. Uh, well, hey, good to have you on. You know, maybe. Uh, Maybe we can t- talk baseball one of these days. That would be nice. But uh, great to have you on, and Thanks, uh, congrats for what you did. I appreciate it. All right, it. Thank you. it's Kurt Schilling.